OK then, for this part of the question, we know that f of x equals the mod of 2x minus 5, and we've got to solve f of x equals 15 plus x. Now, there's two ways of doing this. One is a graphical way, and the other way is a non-graphical way. And I'll show you both methods in this particular video. But uh, if I was given the choice, I would do it a graphical method because we've already drawn the graph in the first part of the question. So let's just set this up. What we've got then is if f of x equals 15 plus x, I would therefore have f of x being the mod of 2x minus 5, and that would equal the 15 plus x. And what I would want to do, since we've got this graph already drawn over here, I would want to overlay that with the graph of y equals 15 plus x. And the graph of y equals 15 plus x is going to be a straight line. Straight line crossing the y-axis at 15. So I'll assume that 15 is, say, there. OK, it would be a bit higher, but uh, I'm sure we can live with that not being quite scale. And gradient of 1. So you're going to have a line, say, looking something along these kind of lines, OK? Something like that. Let's just extend that green line out a bit further, OK? Just like that. So our solutions to this equation, let's just put mark this in, by the way, as y equals 15 plus x. Our solutions to this equation are going to be found at the two points of intersections of the graphs. It'll be the x value that corresponds to that, that'll be that one, and the x value that corresponds to that point, which will be somewhere down here. Let's call these points A and B. Now I can get A very easily. So we'll just say here that at A, all I've got to do is find the intersection then between this line, the green line there, and the red line. Well, this line down here would, in fact, be the line y equals just 2x minus 5. We take off the mod sign, OK? y equals 2x minus 5. So at a, we'd have 2x minus 5 equaling the 15 plus x. And you can see that if we subtract x from both sides and add 5 to both sides, you'll have... 2x minus x, which is x, equals 15 add 5, which is going to be 20. So you've got x equals 20. This point down here would be at 20. So that's one solution. And we can get the other solution then at b. So if we take b at b, we have this graph, OK, intersecting the red graph. Now this graph will be the negative of 2x minus 5. In other words, minus 2x plus 5. So at b we've got minus 2x plus 5 equals the 15 plus x. And if we subtract x from both sides and subtract 5 from both sides, we're therefore going to have minus 2x minus x, which is minus 3x, and then 15 minus 5, which is 10. Divide both sides by minus 3, and you end up with x equaling minus 10 thirds. So there are our two solutions then for x. Well, that's the graphical method. And I did say that there is a non-graphical method, which I wouldn't have really been drawn to doing. But I'll show you how it works, OK? Now, if we take our equation, this is always going to be a positive value. And so therefore, this side has to always be positive. And it's always going to be positive if x is greater than minus 15. So if we do it by this method, OK, this alternative method, we know that if the mod of 2x minus 5 is to equal 15 plus x, it follows that x must be greater than minus 15. 
Now, if that's the case, what I can do is square both sides. And if I square both sides, let's just come down here, I'm going to have 2x minus 5, all squared, is going to equal 15 plus x, all squared. And if we expand this in the usual way, 2x all squared is going to be 4x squared. Then you get twice the product, the product being minus 10x. So you double that and you get minus 20x. And square the minus 5, so that's plus 25. Do the same over here. 15 squared, 225. Twice the product, the product is 15x. So double that, that's 30x. And square the last term, plus x all squared is plus x squared. And we can rearrange this to make it into our quadratic that equals 0 by subtracting x squared, subtracting 30x, and subtracting 225 from both sides. And if you do that, you'll end up with 3x squared minus 50x minus 200 equals 0. And this will factorize. It will factorize to two brackets. You're going to have a 3x and an x. And for this 200, it's going to be plus 10 multiplied by minus 20. And you'll see that you get minus 60x plus 10x, which is the minus 50x. And if this equals 0, we know that 3x plus 10 must equal 0, or x minus 20 must equal 0. And that's going to lead to x equals minus 10 over 3, or x equals 20. And both of these solutions are going to be valid because we know that x has to be greater than minus 15. Okay, so that's an alternative way that you could handle this problem.